<laughs> Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video, A Bend in the Road, Humility, Proverbs 15:33 Amplified. The reverent fear of the Lord, that is, worshiping Him and regarding Him as truly awesome, is the instruction for wisdom. Its starting point and its essence, and before honor comes humility. Colossians 3, 12 Amplified. So as God's own chosen people who are holy, set apart, sanctified for his purpose, and well beloved by God himself, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper. Today is Sunday, November 20th, 2022. Monica and I are here at the Jackson County Courthouse in the county seat of Newport, Arkansas. This courthouse was built in 1892. Easton's Bible Dictionary, humility, it is a state of mind well-pleasing to God. It preserves the soul in tranquility and makes us patient under trials. I am persuaded that love and humility are the highest attainments in the school of Christ and the brightest evidence that he is indeed our master. John Newton. Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24 Amplified. Thus says the Lord, Let not the one who is wise and skillful boast in his insight. Let not the one who is mighty and powerful boast in his strength. Let not the one who is rich boast in his temporal satisfactions and earthly abundance. But let the one who boasts boast in this that he understands and knows me and acknowledges me and honors me as God and recognizes without any doubt that I am the Lord who practices love and kindness, justice and righteousness on the earth. For in these things I delight, says the Lord. Have you ever been placed into a situation where you knew you did not have the wisdom, skills, insight, strength, might, or financial ability to walk the bend in the road that you are now walking? These bends in our road can teach us that it is better to learn humility than to be humiliated. Luke chapter 14 verses 7 to 11, Jesus told a parable to those who had been invited to an important event and how these individuals wanted desperately to be honored. Luke 14, 7-11, TPT. When Jesus noticed how the guests for the meal were all vying for the seats of honor, he shared this story with the guests around the table. When you're invited to an important social function, don't be quick to sit near the head of the table, choosing for yourself a seat of honor. What will happen to you when someone arrives who is more distinguished than you? The host will bring him over to where you're sitting and ask for your seat, saying in front of all the guests, you're in the wrong place. Please give this person your seat. Disgraced, you will have to take whatever seat is left. Instead, when you're invited to a banquet, you should choose to sit in the lowest place. When your host comes and sees you there, he may say, my friend, come with me and let me seat you in a better place. Then, in front of all the other guests at the banquet, he will honor you by seating you in the place of highest respect. Remember this, everyone with a lofty opinion of who he is and who seeks to raise himself up will be publicly humbled and everyone with a modest opinion of who he is and chooses to humble himself will be raised up before all. When that bend in the road came for Bobby and me to walk our bend in the road with humility, God's divine providential hands had already given us many lessons in being humble. So when the news came to us of this precious moment that we needed to be present, God's divine intervention was already at work. Proverbs 25, 6 and 7, the message. Don't work yourself into the spotlight. Don't push your way into the place of prominence. It's better to be promoted to a place of honor than face humiliation by being demoted. An individual that should have been caring, compassion, and loving to me 
has always been critical of me, and with every opportunity, this individual would find ways to exalt herself over me with words and deeds. However, God's years of humility lessons, combined with building our faith and teaching us calmness, during our bends in the roads, Bobby and I carefully walked through this bend in our road. Micah 6, 8, Amplified. He has told you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you except to be just and to love and to diligently practice kindness, compassion, and to walk humbly with your God, setting aside any overblown sense of importance or self-righteousness? Proverbs 22, 4, Amplified. The reward of humility, that is, having a realistic view of one's importance, and the reverent, worshipful fear of the Lord is riches, honor, and life. This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship, A Bend in the Road, Humility. If you plan to build a tall house of virtues, you must first lay deep foundations of humility, Augustine. Pride builds walls between people, but humility builds bridges, Rick Warren. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here at the Newport Bridge. It's also known as the Blue Bridge here in Newport, Arkansas. It is a historical cantilevered Warren Trust Bridge over the White River. It was built in 1930, and you might be able to hear traffic passing by on a fairly new bridge that they recently opened here to replace this one. Come along a journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit that little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. And please give us a thumbs up, liking our videos, and helping us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you and also your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.